stories of the women of Solomon Islands are rarely told. There are hundreds of these stories, each one as unique as the diverse culture and traditions from which these women originate. In this series, we listen to women as they tell of their experiences and their views on issues past and present. Traditionally, women are recognized, they are valued, they are the basis for um, the security of tribes, security of resources, because they give birth to the next generation. The Arara culture places strong emphasis on the daughter, uh, far more than the sons, uh, because they look at women as the, the foundation or, or the key person who provides for the family and for the communities. The role of women was also very much recognized and they are there to teach young children the basic uh, skills of survival, basic skills of being a useful member of the community and basic skills of caring and sharing. Suppose Osem imi lukim context block custom osem hem preparem women for waka for supporting family and homes. Hem bara preparem oge ta elo side lo education lo side lo home ya. How for managing homes, how for wakem garden, for cutting firewood, for provide for the family. Oge ta bara preparem good ota woman ya. Osem mi fal lo lau. Had waka ya place mi fal grow up lo hem because you must. You must collect in firewood and every garden lo mainland, and you paddle every day. So I teach him you how to work really hard. Long area me come from, long with the coast. Um, time is small. Me stop with the family blow me, and then me walk along side long mommy blow. When him mommy blow me, him do him. Him now when him me by millennium. Because mommy blow me, him tell him me, you must learn it for work long garden. You look in one name and do him, you do him too. Buy me cut five wood, buy you help him. You feed him pick pick, what I blame him to follow. Uh, cooking, more to washing or something, and me walk a blow woman and you follow with the girls. Me look for them and me hear him one name, mommy and granny tell him, so me follow him up. Then look at the boys, walk a block at the walk alongside long dad, now, long garden. Buy out the brass, cut down. Cut five wood, car car five wood come, uh, walk a block at the daddy and all the boys with the brothers. In the Karare cultural context, the daughter is always with the mother in the home, in the garden, while patting the gun with the two are quite strongly attached. And it is the hand skill uh, that the mother passes on to the daughter. There are certain activities that are supposed to be done by men, but our tradition does not say that we should not, we the women should not go hunting, or should not be cutting down big trees, or we should not be, you know, doing some of the things that the men do. We are allowed to do that. We have a choice to do that. But as we advance, we have this clear demarcation of what is the role of the man and what is the role of the women. And it seems to be that, you know, you cannot cross that. But that is not culture and tradition. Wonderful experience where him happened, where him helping me for looking custom, not negatively but very positively. Now, uh, time uh, grandfather blow me him come for uh, pass him on. Now, uh, I think blessings blow him or good wishes blow him. Lo family blow me fala. And uh, usually, what have we doing for other boys? But time grandfather blow me come. Him ask that me and brother blow me everyone lot there, and then him pass him on now. This for a traditional blessing blow him for me to brother blow me everyone. Uh, so time me look him that one, him helping me for look him custom very positively. That him something him no discriminate yeah? In in the way my grandfather translated it and applied what custom was to him, him helping me for look him that a custom him him good something no more yeah? or some, uh, him including uh, me and my brother. 
I was never conscious of, of that when I was growing up in the sense that uh, of being a woman or being a girl child or yeah or the girl in the family that my place was sort of secondary to my brother so if, if what in whatever decisions even in in, in, in the community sort of roles that my father had to contribute towards he would also seek my views even when I was growing up when we were small so when people argue that culture does not support women for our array uh, that argument is not true culture really promotes women and uh, you know highlight the important roles they play they have their position in culture and probably we don't talk about eco but they have uh, responsibilities that complement each other in tradition. Christianity came to Solomon Islands in the mid 19th century. It was to change the entire way of life for whole communities and introduce different roles for both men and women. The church has changed the role of women, the traditional role of women, uh, from what it used to be into what it is at the time being. At those days, they didn't have a good understanding of what is the role of women and the place in society before they make these changes that has made women into a very submissive lot. And they are uh, relegated to the kitchen, so to speak to care for the child and to, to be a only mother, which is not, which is not wrong too. Um, and I think it, it's the manner in which we have confused ourselves between what the church teaching and what the traditional teaching is. I think that too has gone a long way to, to contribute to our men regard women. But at the same time, the church also was the first initiator of women in development or the advancement of women. Along with religion, the missionaries brought formal education. Between 1948 and 1968, the churches took up the challenge of educating girls. It was the church that encouraged women to go to school, this the formal education. So church play a role in encouraging, and in some cases, you know, forcing parents, please send your girls to school. So this is something that we must give credit to the church. Every, everybody that went to school for the Methodist, after standard six, standard seven, they get sent to Kiili. There is a school in Bokanville where all the girls get sent, and they went to that place to learn leadership, to learn vocational skills and all of that before they come back and to learn to be teachers or crafts teachers. One challenge I saw with us was that because dad was working full time for the church, he did not have the finance to, to pay for school fees uh, and that's when school fees were introduced for the high schools forms one two. Up. So that was a situation where he had to make a choice uh, with the limited funds, funds that he had at the time between my brother and me. Uh, so it was, it was a factor in terms of financing education uh, by gender. Education, background education for me, we no much attending good education, yeah, same. School blow me as a metal and finish. Fight the medication, me cut Kamlo Busna, time me living in Sol, start him no suba. That for time. Then go look out of and then continue on. Me custom standard seven no more, then finish. That then man blow me, allow me for go to education. And even that celeba and me to follow walk across the island and come to see me no suba in order for me to get education on that for a time. At high school in um King George VI school, there were, in, from Choisel, there were three of us. The others who were Choisel at 
King George, they actually, the parents are here in, in Oniara, so they didn't need to go home. But for those of us who have to go home, the MV Orc, they call it, this is a big ship that the school chartered, took all of us, the Western Province students, and we will go home dropping everybody up at picking points. And when we get dropped there, you know, there is no more mission boat or anything like that to take us home. So the men would paddle from my village in a big dugout canoe, then they, they would come and pick us up. And this is not just our parents, it's a, it's a community thing. And they pick us up and then they will, we drop people up. So we'll drop Alison up first because that's a village. Then me and Eileen will keep on going. And we get to my village, another relay team come to pick Eileen up to get her to a village around the, the corner. So that's, that's what the men did. For, for us women, they really did look after us. And there was pride in these men just to come home and paddle us home because we were seen as the children of our own particular place. So looking back, I can say that, you know, I, I wouldn't have made it without this good-natured man who came and did this thing for us and without the looking after that I've had. Grand Auntie Blomi, na hem talem daddy Blomi, for no worry for sending me go to school because me gele no ma. But daddy Blomi talem him that me must go to school, although me gele, me must go to school, same same or same brother Blomi. So me go receive him education, lo classroom, but lo same time me receive education too, lo home, lo expectations we ota garem for ota gele. I become long home, long Peochakuri village or semi talem. Me sabe some for la custom, and me no sabe seleva. Mami blomi and grand blomi not what talemi. The customs blomi for. I think I must give credit to my father who pushed us and his daughters to go to school. And he encouraged us to go to school and to learn you know, skills in writing and reading and maybe to pursue education.